Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, Daniel Kinahan has responded to the BBC Panorama documentary that was aired last week, titled Boxing and the Mob. In that documentary, the BBC, um, you know, basically put out numerous allegations in regards to Daniel Kinahan and his business activities, all of which have not been proven in a court of law. So basically the whole Panorama documentary was basically based on speculation, hearsay and nothing that has been proven in court of law. But Daniel Kinahan responded um, by releasing a statement to TalkSport Radio. Now for the American listeners, TalkSport basically is the biggest sport radio show in the UK. And Daniel Kinahan said the following, I have tried my best to ignore the allegations that are constantly made about me. I have dedicated myself to work in boxing for over 15 years. I started from the bottom and worked my way up. I am proud to say today that I've helped organise over a dozen major world title fights. I continue to be involved in planning multiple record-breaking and exciting world title fights. I'm doing all I can to give the fight fans around the world the fights they want. My professional commitment is always to the boxers who take the ultimate risk. Daniel Kinahan went on to say, I'm Irish. I was born and raised in Dublin in a deprived area with serious lows of poverty, crime and underinvestment. People like me from there aren't expected to do anything with their lives other than serve the middle and upper classes. Boxing is a working class sport for which I've had a lifelong love and passion. I love the sport of boxing but didn't love how the business was done. Many boxers have similar backgrounds to me. I got into boxing to make sure that boxers get fairly rewarded and not taken advantage of. The boxers put their lives on the line. It's my mission to ensure that the boxers are financially secure when they finish boxing and healthy too. Let's not forget, the money in boxing is put there one way or another by the fans, sponsors and TV companies, not by me or anybody else. And they put it there to watch the fighters. The fighters deserve their fair share. So that's Daniel Kinahan briefly touching on his involvement with boxing and Kinahan also addressed the accusations against him and he said the following I firmly believe that my success has led to an increase in the campaign against me. Pretty much anything can be said about me or inferred about me and it goes unchallenged and is sadly believed. Last week it was inferred that I had threatened a reporter. Let me be clear on this point before I address the other allegations against me. I have full respect for journalism. I've worked with journalists and value their role. Journalists should always be free to do their job, free from any threat or harassment. I have never threatened a reporter or journalist or asked anyone to do that for me. I never have and I never would. My concern is that I've not been on the receiving end of fair and credible journalism, especially in the UK and Ireland. The recent BBC Panorama programme is a good example. This was a rehash of unsubstantiated allegations that have been made previously on many occasions. It was unashamedly sensationalist and devoid of evidence or critical analysis. They refused to publish the statement I made in advance of the programme or even question the fundamental claim that an Irish court accepted that Irish court is the SCC, a court with no jury and which accepts the world police offers without question. It is criticised by both the UN and Amnesty International. This latest report follows a long pattern of throwing innuendo and baseless accusations at me, hoping that some may stick. I can't be any clearer on the fundamental slur. I am not part of a criminal gang or any conspiracy. I have no convictions, none, not just in Ireland, but anywhere in the world. Media outlets link my name with criminality unconnected to me. I am not involved in any proceedings, therefore I am unable to challenge this in court. The media know this, yet refuse to acknowledge it. There is no evidence or proof against me. I have said repeatedly, I have no criminal record anywhere in the world. Section of the media ask that I disprove a negative. That is impossible, but it shows what I'm up against. People need to ask themselves, if he has done these things that he's been accused of, why has he not been arrested and charged? Why does a police organisation anywhere in the world not have this information and evidence that some sections of the media would have you to believe actually exists? Why is there only a trial by media and not a criminal trial? There is a simple answer to this. 
The answer is because there is no evidence. It's because it's not true. I'm blessed with an amazing family. I'm blessed to work in boxing at the highest level, having organised some of the biggest fights in boxing previously and in the future. I will continue to work every day to bring out the best in and look after the boxers I'm lucky enough to work with. I have chosen to dedicate my life to my family and my work. I do so every day in good and honest faith. I will continue to always choose love and choose God in my future as I do my present. Those are the words of Daniel Kinahan. Now I have to say, I finally got around to watching the BBC Panorama documentary. And listen, I've got to be honest, I thought it was pretty poor, in all honesty. Maybe I'm being biased because I have no faith in the BBC, and quite frankly I hate their guts. You know, we're talking about investigative journalism, well these guys have failed now for 20 odd years plus. You know, whether it be in regards to the Iraq war, or even what is going on now with Covid. There's no divergent thinking in the BBC, nothing like that. It's just a mouthpiece for government propaganda, as far as I'm concerned. And the documentary, so-called documentary, that they put forth on MTK and Daniel Kinahan was basically just unsubstantiated drivel, basically. None of it's been proven in a court of law, and none of this information was new. You know, or I can't even call it information because, like I say, it's not been proven. But these allegations have been out there for quite some time, for years in fact, and they gave us nothing new in regards to this alleged story. So, listen, I I thought it was a pretty poor hit piece by the BBC. You know, these guys haven't shown boxing any respect now for 20-odd years, um, since the early 2000s. They abandoned boxing They never really cover it. The time they give it mainstream coverage, it's in a negative. So, listen, I've got no time for the BBC whatsoever. And as for Daniel Kinahan, listen, I'm a boxing fan. And for me, MTK have done a great job in the sport of boxing. All of their fighters seem happy. They put on some great shows. They make some great fights. And, um, you know, they're doing some, some real good stuff in boxing. Going to different parts of the world which weren't explored previously in regards to boxing, you know, going over to Kazakhstan, etc. I think they're doing some great things in boxing, I really do. And as a boxing fan, I appreciate the product that they are putting forth. So, listen, maybe I'm biased in this scenario, but I thought the whole hit piece by the BBC was appalling, um, terrible journalism. It was like some TMZ piece, to be honest. I mean, I could have, we, we could have made that. Somebody like me or you could have made that, you know, just list off unsubstantiated allegations in regards to Daniel Kinahan. So, yeah, I mean, going into it, going into this Panorama documentary, all of these boxing fans were kind of excited about it. But for me, I I, I expected what I saw tonight when I watched it. Just a, a hit piece on boxing, gutter journalism, and yeah, just a bit of a joke as far as I'm concerned. But anyway... Share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Del Boy. Peace.